everybody. Welcome to the Speakeasy. I'm Jake. I'm Zach. We are the Dirt Road Men. I had to remember my own name. <laughs> We're here today to review a uh, what I'm going to go ahead and call a budget cigar, which is the Factory Smokes Maduro from Drew Estate. Pretty good. Excuse me. No. <laughs> um... You can get these in bundles of 25 for like 35 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and call them budget scars. They're like slightly more expensive than those white owl grapes we used to get way back in the day when we first started. Oh, this. yeah. <laughs> those were pretty good. They really were. Especially for two guys that didn't know shit about cigars at the time. We just knew we kind of liked the idea of cigars. And we didn't want like the weird little ones that came in the. We we would get ones this size, not the weird little ones that came. Yeah. Came in the. Uh... They had ones that came in tubes. I think they were skinnier than this, but they were still big cigars instead of the little paper wrapper ones that we've reviewed sometimes. But they were good. Anyway, um, so Drew Estate who we've fanboyed over repeatedly. In fact, I, I've made a point to try not to review that many Drew Estate cigars because early on we really went to bat for them because people used to give them flack for the Acid brand. Mm. But in the last couple of years with uh, Liga Pravida and and the uh, Undercrown brand, they've really won their way up. And the, fa the Factory Smokes does have a sweet line that a lot of people just don't like. Um, I don't think I've tried it. Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> but the other three offerings are not uh, sweet. Sweet. They're not sweetened. They're not flavored. That's what I'm looking for. They're not flavored in any way. Okay. Now, when they decided to try to make you know an everyday smoke for people that like you can do doing yard work, you know, you're mowing the lawn and the cigar falls out your mouth, you're not gonna cry about it because it wasn't a fucking $25 Cohiba or a, or Liga Pravita number 9, which would probably cause me to scrap the entire lawnmower. Um, it just... <clears throat> it runs cheap, but it smokes great. Uh, so great, in fact, that I went to re-up on cigars this month. I only had 40 bucks for my own personal s stock that wasn't going to be for reviews. And... They were sold out everywhere. The soonest I could get any shipped out was like by the first of next month. So, man, yeah, <laughs> they're definitely really popular. I, I had why. the Sun Grown before, and they're not bad either. I got the Sun Growns because at the time I had a humidor full of Maduros. It was just like I need something for a lighter day, a breakfast cigar, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I ended up re-upping on was a uh, Camacho sampler. Mm -hmm. So, I get two triple Maduros out of that. It, I know you guys can't see it, but I'm covering my giblets. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's my favorite cigar. I thought you liked the Man of War more. That's my favorite readily available cigar. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, this this Maduro, it does have like classic Maduro flavors. It's it's medium to full bodied. I wouldn't call it super full bodied like a like a triple Maduro or anything. But it is uh, like middle of the road, exactly what you expect from Maduro cigar flavors. You've got dark chocolate coffee more in the espresso lane because it's like really strong coffee yes um, a little bit of cedar yep that just name off everything you were getting i was gonna say cedar yeah but i mean for what you're paying for this this is a, a really good smoke it's often what i will go into my buddy's local cigar shop ritter cigar in desoto if you guys ever get the chance a little bit of uh, black pepper there. Yeah, that's another one I was trying to think of, but didn't didn't get it on that Cuddy Sark though. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, 
We got wild goes pretty here. good with some wild turkey long branch. Long Branch is a fairly classic bourbon in flavor. A little bit mellower than the 101, but it's also got some different flavors to it. Although the tinge of like barbecue smoke that I would get out of this normally is gone when I'm having a cigar with it. It definitely takes a background to the cigar. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, this is a solid smoke, man. I would, uh, I'd give this an 8. That's what I was thinking. If I got trapped on a desert island with only these, I'd be a little bit disappointed, but not very. Yeah. It would just be that I would miss some of the other ones. I don't think I could pick one cigar to get trapped on a desert island with. I'd need three. I could pick one. The Triple Maduro? Probably the Triple Maduro. I'd want a lighter one just for every once in a while. Sometimes I don't want the, the full punch in the face cigar. Sometimes I want a cigar with a smoky scotch and I want the scotch to take front row. Full throttle or move over and let me drive. <laughs> go big or go home. So I give this an 8. What'd you give it? I agreed with you. I was thinking 8 as well. I'm just having an 8 kind of day. I know. It's weird. We're uh, great, great whiskey reviews today and great cigar. And, and, and honestly, everything we've reviewed today has been budget, but it's punched above its weight consistently. Yes. Um... Yeah, pretty impressed. All in all, you'll see the cigar review way before you see the whiskey review, but I think we have like three or four cigar videos stacked up now. Mostly because I forgot to upload last week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I've just been a little busy. Hope you've been patient with us. Uh, anything else? No. Till we see you again, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Matt. Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.